What's up? This is Demrick. It's Jamie Madge Rock. Man, this is your man's Obi Trice. This is Adlib. Yo, what up? This is Specs One. This is Fresh K. Hot Rock's the motherfucking Scrat MC. Breaking records. Breaking records radio out here. This is Breaking Records Radio. Check them out, man. Word up, man. So, um, I'll since we're back in those days too, I did kind of want to take it back to like some of the early D12 days as well. But um, so like I know um, I, I I know how the group like originally you guys had like 12 members right, and everything was kind of mixed, like kind of like conjumbled in the beginning stages, right? Right, right. But like so, to my knowledge, M joined the group after Bugs had uh, passed. Rest in peace. Right, right. But um, cause. No, I don't. Um, no, he was uh, he was already in the group. Okay. You know, but then when he, you know, he was like an early member, but when he when he started doing his, you know, his thing with uh, you know, we got signed to Dr. Dre. He didn't really have time to participate like that. Okay. So okay. Kinda, you know, he kind of dropped off, and he was living in Cali working on his album, and he was in Detroit, you know, just doing our thing. And then it was like when Bugs passed away. And that's when he came back and committed to it. Like, yo, I, you know, I, I really want to make this snap. I, I'm going to take Bugs, please. Okay, cool. Because, yeah, I was a little confused by it. Because when you guys did the Underground EP, he had, he had like, I think, three features on there or something. So that's why I was like, right, right. when I heard you... Um, I heard in an interview, I can't remember which one, I think it was with Sway, but they kind of said, like, yeah, he officially joined after Bugs passed, but I was like, well, he was on the Underground EP, so I, I wasn't sure if, like, he was a part of the group officially then, or if he was just kind of an affiliate that you guys rocked with, or... No, no, yeah, he was a part of it. Okay, so, and when did the Underground EP come out? Because that, like, that's one of those gems, like, you cannot find, like, that thing is... It's super difficult to find. It's a classic, though. I love that shit. Like, Chance to Advance and Pick Your Poison. You don't want to oh, mess yeah. with Dirty Dozen. Yeah. And, like, fuck yeah. yeah. That, actually, that was just a demo. I think somebody just put it out. <laughs> oh, word, eh? So you guys never officially put that out? No, no, no. Oh, word, eh? Because this shit's super rough recorded. It sounded like it was recorded at the same spot, like, uh, Infinite would have been or whatever. But the, the joint's yeah, on was... there. Bad, bad record. Yeah, but the joints on their bad, like, there's fire on there, man. I can't remember what the first joint on that one is, but the, uh, Proof's got that, you know, um, whoever stepped to this, you get a knee, get a crack kneecap of, like, uh, we make the hardcore groups like Wu-Tang look like the village people, like. Right, right. That's just, <laughs> you guys got fire on that shit. Who yeah. produced the, the those demos, those early demos? Uh, a lot of it was, uh, Mr. Porter, yeah. Okay, okay. And did Porter do Eminem's Infinite as well? Yep, yep. Oh, oh wow. word, okay, okay. That's crazy, yeah, man. That's crazy. Yeah. Yeah, uh, I never knew that, though. I always thought that was an official release, the, uh, Underground EP. That's crazy that that was just kind of, like, demos that someone leaked. Right, right, right. That's crazy. That's crazy. 